Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arm. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence, not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Well, this guy has truly made the takedown a thing of beauty in mixed martial arts with respect to yourself and George St. Pierre and the truly great takedown artist. This guy's closing the gap and and entering that company in the eyes of men. Oh, absolutely, because he's done such a great job of timing takedowns. You didn't see, I haven't seen anyone so good at slipping a jab into a takedown since George St. Pierre. Right. He does a phenomenal job of getting from step one to step two before his opponent even realizes, now he's in on my leg. And if they do get their hips back, immediately he's up into a foot sweep or a headlock or an inside trip. It's just so many different ways for him to get you to the floor that he will throw every single one at you every single time. And a lot of fighters talk about that wrestling maintenance and how hard it is, right, over the course of a career to continue to drill those things. He talks a lot about that, and that's why he's continued to realize success here in the UFC. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 247 pounds. Fighting out of St. Petersburg, Russia, the problem. And now he sees his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 249 pounds. Fighting. Sofia Bulgaria. Big. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. The veteran Eve Levine draws the assignment here. Division. It's going to be interesting to see how it plays out stylistically. Yeah, you would think that he would just avoid grappling at all costs because he seems to have a clear advantage on the feet. But we've seen guys fight with their egos before. Let's see how he approaches the match. He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. He went high on that one. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Just misses with the straight right. Oh, that straight punch was useful, champ. Multiple times he's used this punch. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. Wow, what a kick. Huge kick lands. Oh, straight right. Oh, man, his leg kicks are outstanding. And you saw a great example of that just there. And you see his opponent start to slow down. He cannot take many of those kicks. Oh, man. That is jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have times where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, nice right hand. Just over two minutes to go. Misses with that punch. Straight 
straight punch lands. Ooh, blocks the shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Right on the button. Just misses with the straight left hand. One minute to go in round one. And they separate. All collar tie. Keeps going back to that jab, keeps throwing that jab, but unable to land. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, wow! Head kick. Final seconds of round one. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to Round three. two winding down. Let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, he, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. You ready? You ready? Fight. Round two underway. Beautiful body kicks. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're gonna sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. Jab, right hand, hook, that's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Oh, nice. You try to establish that jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Single collar tie now. Hey, set him up, set him up. There it is. Man, has he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two? Definitely. And now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it was coming high, and now he's got him hurt bad. They got him. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Slips the punch nicely there. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, uppercut to the dome. All right, so he continues to use his jab effectively here, DC. He gets that hand to the target pretty quick. I mean, just right away, blasting the jab after jab after jab. He's a phenomenal boxer with a vast understanding of fighting behind that educated jab. Sound defensively blocks the shot. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Oh, he missed with that right hand. Oh, big punch land. Oh, late defense on the takedown and scrambles to his feet. Nicely done. Ten seconds remain in round two. All right, that's the end of round number two.
right, let's now look back at some of the action from that round. He went head hunting, landed, nearly got the finish too. A lot of coaches tell you don't head hunt. In this case, he's been head hunting and he landed a big enough shot to truly put his opponent on notice. You ready? You ready? Third round underway. He is blocked. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Beautiful kick. Tags him with a flush left. Nice strike. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Just throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Punch lands over the top. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Position. All right, single collar tie now. Now he's got the Muay Thai plum. No Ooh, what a head kick. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, and he caught the kick. Big kick lands. I want to see your picks. Oh, single collar tie here. And he landed the right hand there. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Strong defense there to block the shot. All right, so the fighters go the distance here tonight, but it went a whole lot better for one of them than the other. Talk us through the replays, Jim. Some decisions are different than others, and his striking really did separate him from the competition. He fought so well in the stand-up game that he should get a very easy decision. The official decision is now in. It resides with Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges scored this contest for 9.28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, the problem. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous decision.